Buying or selling a home is one of the most important decisions you'll make in your entire life. Call the Holly Ritchie team today for a free market analysis. Uh, good question, Anthony. Um, why did I want to go into education? Well, um, I was around it all my life. I uh, had family members that were teachers. Um, they would come home and they always seemed like they were happy with the profession and enjoyed what they were doing. My brother was a teacher here at Howland uh, for many years. And um, there should actually be a wing named after him here. Uh, my wife, um, who we've known now for well over 30 years and she was a teacher, first grade teacher at Struthers and so we were able to share a lot of um, good stories and a lot of you know things that uh, happened in common with us as we were as we were getting to know each other and also uh, throughout our marriage. Uh, my youngest son has also gone into the professions, I'm sorry my oldest son has gone into the profession as well so um, it seems to be in the blood for, for some reason. Um, I think the biggest reason that uh, I wanted to get into education in the first place is to cultivate relationships with young people. Um, it was very important to me that um, they be able to learn something and maybe I could give them some advice that will help them to become better people down the road. And I think that is the primary asset that teachers are able to, uh, to give to their students. Well, the biggest factor that has helped me to be successful, um, if that's what you consider I am successful, hopefully, <laughs> um, there's, there's a couple things I could give advice to. And the first thing is, is please do not be a phony in the field of education. If you don't know something or you're not quite familiar with, with a topic or a subject, uh, don't wing it and pretend like you do because the kids will call you out immediately. They're, they're smarter than you give them credit for. Um, so I would suggest that anybody who goes into a field such as mine, like social studies, um, be very knowledgeable about your subject. And if it comes to a time where you can answer a question, um, a good answer would be, um, I, I really don't know that question right offhand, but uh, we can get to the bottom of that. We could find that answer. Um, I, I also want to, um, you know, give some some advice to young teachers in particular that. Um, if you want to be respected, you also have to respect your, your students and you have to let them know that you love them and that you're willing to stand up for them and to do things for them. And if you have the ability to do that, then you're going to be set up nice, nice uh, for, for your career. Um, they, um, they need that kind of support. Um, they get it at home, but they also need it from the outside as well. And uh, teachers offer that ability to have a safe place for, for students to come and talk if need be. This is like, you know, you can do all the practicing you want you right. know, when it comes to, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, doing your classes and being told what to do and stuff, but you really can't get the feel of what it's like in a classroom until you're actually in it. Right. Um, you have to understand that in, in the field of education, you got to expect everything every day. There is some of the craziest most wild things you could ever possibly imagine could happen in a classroom from day to day and if you're not ready for that kind of uh, experience then you're in big trouble because uh, you never know what you're going to get when you walk through the stores every day. The biggest professional mistake that I made was to let people influence me and talk me into things when I was when I was younger. Um, I did relatively well when I was in school in mathematics, and I guess I was very immature when I was in high school. It wasn't that I was immature in, in, in a lot of ways, but knowing what my future was going to be was one of those things I really didn't know. And um, there were people that you know wanted to talk me into a field that would make a lot of money. Um, I originally went into civil engineering when I went to college. And it took me a year and a half, but I figured out that that was not going to be the profession for me. And um, I, I actually sat down one day. Um, I had a, a big research paper that was due in the summer um, of my first year, after my first year. 
and it was due on a Thursday and it was a Sunday night and I had all my material and stuff ready for me uh, to, to start working on the paper and it had to be, I don't know, 15 to 20 pages long and it was not something that I was overly interested in. And um, I went to Packard Park actually to watch a baseball game Sunday night, sat on the hill, um, laid down, looked up at the sky and had a you know, heart to heart with myself there, uh, what, what I wanted to do with my life. And at that moment, I decided that um, I wanted to be, I wanted to go into history. I wanted to, to, to learn history and, you know, ultimately it led to teaching history. Um, but that epiphany and stuff was very important in my life. It, it, you know, took me completely away from the field that I was in and moved into something in a completely opposite direction. And, um, I consider it to be the greatest decision that I ever made in my life. And, um, you know, they, they talk about how, uh, you know, that if you enjoy what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. Well, that, that experience is, is me to a T. Um, I really enjoy coming to work every day. And um, like I said, in, in an earlier, um, you know, part of the presentation, um, what you get every day is is very unique. You know, kids are going to come in and they're going to ask you questions and um, give you their experiences that you know are are so important. Um, you know, make makes us laugh as teachers, and um, you know sometimes we cry along with them as well. But um, you know, I, I think that uh, you know making a mistake. You know, some sometimes people have where. Um, you know, they'll tell you, don't get involved in education. You're never going to make any money or don't get involved in education because there's so many pitfalls to it. But um, some people have a calling for it. And I guess I was one of those people that, that you know, had a calling for, for the field. So. That is a really tough question, especially since you're talking to a history teacher. Uh, there are so many people in history that you know, you would love to have conversations with and, you know, pick their brains and stuff. I could narrow mine down to probably two people. I don't know if I could do just one, but um, my, my first one would be Winston Churchill. Um, you know, Winston Churchill had his career almost completely ruined in World War One by making some um, dubious decisions. Um, yet he rebounded from that and, you know, was put in power in, in Great Britain. Um, after appeasement and single-handedly probably helped England survive the German onslaught. And, um, you know, I would certainly like to pick his brain about, you know, his mentality and that, that steel attitude that British people have and, you know, why he was able to overcome all of those failures and stuff and still lead Britain on to victory. Um, the other person is an American. Um, my favorite president has always been Harry S. Truman. And Truman was amazing to me because, um, you know, he, he had on his desk a sign that said, the buck stops here. And, you know, as a leader, sometimes you can't make excuses for your actions and you have to do what you feel is necessary. And Harry S. Truman was willing to accept the responsibility. And, you know, he made one of the most difficult decisions in the history of mankind when he decided to dropped two bombs on on Japan and you know he was looking out for the well-being of Americans and at the same time tried to end a war um, but that had to be excruciating you know for, for a man of that kind of morality um, and um, you know I'd, I'd love to uh, ask him about that decision and what went into that decision and you know his ability to to lead as the president of the United States mm -hmm.